Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh man, we just we keep them on their toes, really, with these openings. They, <laughs> they never know what. We the... should practice a better one then. What would you like to say? What? Okay, imagine that you are coming home to me after a long day's work. How would you want me to greet you? Uh, 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 hello. <laughs> okay. What else? Oh, ooh. I'm not a creative type, Shawnee. You know this. This is not true at all. Look at your glasses. They're so creative. They're so creative. I made them myself out of whittling wood. <laughs> okay. Um. I don't know. What uh, What other What other like welcomes do your favorite YouTube people do? They just start. Yeah, hi, I'm. <laughs> no, they just start yelling directly at the video person. Yeah, right? they usually are yelling. They're yeah. usually screaming in pain. The yelling men. The yelling men. Okay, but seriously? Uh, I don't know. Like, uh, hey, uh, how's it going? Welcome to, uh, we don't even have a title for this show. Are we not friendly drunks? I guess we're friendly drunks. Welcome to the friendly drunk Let's Plays. Hello. Hello. Let's play. Welcome to friendly drunk Let's Play. Play with the friendly drunk. Come play with our friendly drunk. <laughs> okay, but we're plural, not singular. Yes. Come. Play with our friendly drunks. Yeah. Fiddle our drunks. What? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, let's start playing. Okay. <laughs> what is it? What do you want me to do? Oh, uh... Mm, <laughs> what about Sarah? You're in charge what of What kind of evidence did you find? Don't, don't you, you ever forget well, that. During during the wine bottle is in the way. Yeah, yeah, the wine is in the way. Classic story. The Geth have never ventured beyond the veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated Stream's from its unit. perfect because then I disabled while they're just it talking, we can cord. refill our glasses. I thought the Geth fried their yeah, memory cores when they died. Listening. Some also kind that. of defense mechanism. Is that true? What? Sure. What? Is that true? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. What's the conduit? He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. What are Reapers? Yeah. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. It's not far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Will they believe it? This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. Join us. 
I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay, we're going to the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Uh, wait. wait. <laughs> we just started. Well, I have to pee. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, wait. So Tali has lots of tech strength. And we can pick one other person for now? Yes. Um... Okay, Tally and Ashley. We don't seem to be using biotics that much. Okay. I'm gonna go to the consort, because we kind of need to go there. Just tell her that everything's cool. Okay. Well, as Shivani is not here right now. Strained greeting, human. Uh, this is really not a good time. I know who revealed your I'm secret. Just gonna do this, it was a then. Tullian named Septimus. Oh god. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus. Yeah, not a good one man show, I'll tell you that secrets. much. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari <sighs> I'll tell you this much, this wine is not true. delicious. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to mm. fathom. If the Turian yeah, so jumping ahead, own, having played all of the games, made, it is interesting to see Mass Effect secret. back in the old days. It's such a different game in so many ways. Septimus then, is a powerful yeah. man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. <laughs> this is the second two that followed. I suppose you are correct. So much more RPG-like. Thank you for Oh, she's back. Hello. Oh, I'm just talking to the Elcor. You know that hot Elcor that I really like. Oh yeah, he's so sick. No oh, man, his ass. I just can't take it. I just can't take it. It's, he, he's got an ass that, let's be honest, it won't quit. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you were right. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. <laughs> you see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Oh, thanks, you ass. Okay, let's go to just see the consort, and then we will uh, be on our way. You know what I was thinking? What were you thinking, Shivani? I was thinking of my favorite narration to a gameplay. Excuse me, Commander and Could you I'm definitely a not as, shall we say, well-versed in it as you are. Oh no, by no means. Not by no means. I know. The, I know. By means, no. Um, but I'd say my favorite narrative to a gameplay was the guy who played Quop. Oh. For the first time? Well, Quop is just Quop. So bad. It is bad. Commander Shepard. Like, my name is Samesh Bakir. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What is it? A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait. The 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Well, yeah, depending on who you take with you, you, you have different gracious. interactions with everyone. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Batia. Ruali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Did they say why? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll put this right. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. I let's, like him. Let's just go see the guy. He's right here. Okay. Where 
is the expensive bar? Is it this way? Yeah, I think it is. I can't believe I landed a job here. This Human delighted welcome. Oh, not this bar. This is not a bar. No, this is not a bar. <laughs> Matt, you frequent some What's a bar? bars. <laughs> well, this bar's really rocking. <laughs> Shepard, shit. What can I do for you now? Nope. What? I'll be going now. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I would love if real conversations worked like that. You walk up to I've someone. I've got to run. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Uh, I hope so. I'm here on behalf of Samesh Bhatia for his wife Nirali. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. She's toxic? You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Mm hmm. I can be persuasive or charming. Or aggressive. Oh. Or you can just say, yes, keep the body. I don't know. This is a moral dilemma. I yeah, mean, it's... and this is your game, so you have to decide this. Oh, but we have to discuss at least. N I mean, hey, it's your game. You get the final decision. I know, but we I want to discuss. Okay, so... Personally, he doesn't know what his wife is being kept for. I feel like if he knew, he might be more open. But that's just me. I agree, but in that time, the body might not be available anymore, right? Is what? that a risk we take? Hey, man, this is life. <laughs> You take over every. Hey, man, bro, this is life. Because you... I guess either if I intimidate or charm, you then we get the body. You don't have to do either. You can just. I know. Or I can save those. Okay, fine. Samesh should hear this. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Oh god, I just ran on the table there again. <laughs> oh, We're gonna so... tell him now, right? Yeah. Did you refill my glass? Yeah. Oh. Your glass is not magic. <gasps> so much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Investigate? Wife. Tell me again what you've been told about your wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. I don't understand why they won't release her body to me. They're running tests. Or, wait, they're uh, running medical studies on Neroli. Oh, no. That's why they won't release the body. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests. My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. This is important. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. What would she want? If the military had asked your wife to submit to tests to save human lives, what would she have said? It doesn't matter. She's dead. Yes, she is, Mr. Batia. She died fighting for what she believed in. She sacrificed her life to keep you safe. I think she'd want to make the most of that sacrifice. You're right, Miss Williams. She would not flinch from her duty. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. That was good. 
I think we made the right choice. <laughs> There's so many choices to be made. What would you do in that situation if I died, I guess, in duty to my country or whatever? <laughs> yeah, because you would join the army. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'd be just like, okay, yeah, He's like, shh, run your tests as long as I get the body back in the end. I'd want to be cremated as well. Yeah, no, you get, it's not like, I, it's just like the waiting game. It's just like, okay, well, I just Why have to wait longer. Tell me anything? Why wouldn't you oh care about it? Yeah, they should have told them something. But if it were the matter of, like, running tests on my body in my Septimus autopsy. Septimus sent word, apparently he saw the cause was predicted. Oh, what was that? <laughs> if, um, no, it doesn't matter. Look. I'm gonna let them keep your body and do whatever they want with it. Really? <laughs> no. Not well, anything. I'd let them, depending on what they were doing. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. It was really Thank fucking you for hot. <laughs> Even the Elko so, this is your type of girl? Campaign yeah, sorry. Me. Yeah, sorry, but not her specifically. I'm fine. Um, glad to help. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I There's also a bunch have of money. thing to give you, if you are interested. Of course, I am interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation <laughs> of who you are. Damn, who you gift are of goddamn words. <laughs> I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep. Pain and loss, but it drives you, makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. I kind of want to say that's it. Let's go with that's it. I'm going to be a dick. Um, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. Oh, yeah, the Asari have kind of like this weird psychic kind of link. Oh, like the Vulcans. Yes, sure. In case you haven't picked up on it, Shivani. Little, little Star Trek nerd here. <laughs> Meanwhile, I am a Star Wars fan, so clearly we don't get along. Whoa! Hey! I get the feeling they just fucked. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well. Here, Commander. <laughs> In light of your efforts with the Elcor ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. A trinket? What is it? A small mystery. <laughs> I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. So it's useless to you. And now I must ask yep. you to leave. Thanks for all your I garbage. Have done everything I can. Uh, here's my gum wrappers too. <laughs> I have no <laughs> use for them anymore. <laughs> they are a mystery. <laughs> no one knows what they can be used for. Perhaps you can find a use for them. <laughs> okay, fine. It's the... Oh shit, I think it's called Mind Meld? For Ma Vulcans? Okay. <laughs> God, Giovanni, what kind of fucking nerd are you? You don't even know all the Vulcan terms. I just told you the Vulcan term. I'm pretty sure that's correct, too. I'm actually going to confirm right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm heading for the Citadel. So we can go say, like, Saren's being a dick. Stop him. <laughs> and the council can go, oh, are, you sh are you sure? And we can go, yeah, he's, he's a real bum. Oh Let me God. find out. She runs so weird. Look at how she kind of leans to the right like she's got a limp. Because she's turning. No? Oh, yeah. She's kind of... She's got like a weird hobble. Yeah. I'm sorry. That is not good running technique. Yeah, I think it's I'm sexy. no runner, but I don't think hey, that's hey, good Hey, don't you. you dare. It's sexy as fuck. Hey. Um, uh, mind meld. That's what I was looking at. You're creating oh yeah, that's the correct thing. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? What's the problem? What's going on here? 
The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the enkindlers. Investigate. Uh, legality of preaching. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now. The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. Investigate enkindlers. Who are the enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. Did you find out the truth? The Enkindlers raised the hand on from ignorance into consciousness. Yeah, mine was the correct like granting nice. this one's people the gift of speech. You're still the gate. Good job. Mm -hmm. Investigate? Oh, never mind. Return. Uh, let me see what I can do. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? What's the problem? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Investigate? Of reasons for the permit? What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Investigate. And rules of permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll help. If you'd like, I could talk to the yeah, header for you. We're really, uh, yeah, getting Jello into the, all the nitty-gritty of politics. Yeah, like, I don't know if the Hanar has a, like, something to really preach about. If that's has the CSEC officer been assuaged? If this isn't the way. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Damn. Could I buy your permit, I guess? What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary like to purchase nothing. the permit. You do now. 150 credits. This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Not really? I just want you to get out of here. Yeah. This kinda. one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. No problem. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. My pleasure. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Oh, thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my Jeez. superiors. I wish like he paid extra you. credits. Yeah, yeah, he pays you way more. <laughs> <laughs> That's always nice. That's why you should be happy to help, folks. Yes, be generous. Give the donation. <laughs> Do not disturb the keepers. Please do not uh, disturb the keepers. Shut up, Ravina. I don't like you. I don't like you. You're so mean to me. Oh, shit. This way. <laughs> there we go. Elevator! Everyone loves an elevator. Why do I have 
Kaiden and Tali. Kaiden? Whatever. I like Kaiden. Kaiden was just part of the military team you were with before. Tali is following you because she uh, was asked. I know. Wants to. Okay, so what what other questions did you have? Where's Ashley? She's right there. Where's Caden? Caden's chilling out somewhere else. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> the game can't handle 15 people running around and following you. Why not? <laughs> uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but in Mass Effect 3, there's a really fucking awesome moment. <laughs> well, then don't spoil it. Okay, good. <laughs> You're welcome. Don't be silly. I'm not a jerk. You're not a jerk. The thing with Mass Effect is that you kind of have to watch out for your characters because by the time you get to Mass Effect 3, you can lose most of them. <laughs> oh. Hey, Matt. Yeah? Um, how many hours does it take to play each Mass Effect? Uh, the first one's probably the longest. Really? Uh, yeah. And then after that, they're much shorter. I'd hope so. Once we actually get to the council here and talk to them... How are we doing them? for time for this one, by the way? Oh. <laughs> it's good to, you know, strip the curtain back and let people know how this works. We could probably cut this off. Oh, okay. Right before the council. Yeah, right here. And that's... The end of the show. <laughs> Until next time. Bye.